Alex. I am. Oh, I am, I am drawing I am. a blank. <laughs> and I am ready to get my hair cut into something with more shape or form or whatever. General looking goodness. It's gonna be great. I am an expat living in the Netherlands for four years now, and so far I love it. It's been great. Lovely country, lovely people, lovely traditions. Oh, that's a lot. That's a, and a lot. A lot? Okay, good. I have a pet snake. His name is Dagger. He's great. Okay. <sighs> well, will you turn so you can see how your hair is now? Because yeah. you're the first time modeling for me. Thank you very much. We'll make something exciting and flip. Yes. With a cool call. Let's start. Hello friends on YouTube. Come do this young lady her hair. That's the first time she models for me. I already told you that in the first comments she gave. So I have to watch what the, she has as a hairstyle. I know what she wants as a hairstyle. And it's almost Halloween, so I can't think about something in Halloween lights. She loves ultra short hair. <laughs> Thank God for that. Most girls love long hair. And as always, I start by wetting the hair. Find me the best way to part the hairs. Always using the fold of the hairs. Because I can always choose a other line, but that makes it difficult for her to style hair. I don't want that to happen. Going in the flow of the up lines with holy bone. Part hair side. Work in the back a bit asymmetrical, but not too much. And on the front, it's also the same line because. Her hair fall, when I want to take this up, always goes back, so I can see that. So I make use of the natural falls. I part it the most wonderful way to part it. So these are my parting lines. They will be short, and then can make some lovely tattoo art in it. Me. <laughs> Starting on her right side, take a large flat comb and come and work a lot of. My clipper is of Kiona. I show you also a new clipper of Kiona just on the market. Nice thing is she has an ultra light skin, so I can see very well the chain colors get through the hair. So I have to find also a way to have some hiding because when I want to have tattoo eyes, I have to find the diversity in color. So that's important for me as a hairdresser. Leaning with my comb against the hair fall. So pushing the hair straight up. Leave this till I get back to the contour line. Go over the roundings of the skull bone. Go to my parting line. Goes over the center of the skull, so it is almost uh, four centimeters off of the center of the skull. But searching for the most wonderful lines in her skull lines and in the way her hair flows.
Take my clapper as com. So put, put in the blades to the back. Then I have about two and a half millimeters. Go back to the part behind the ear. Pushing it up. Get into the roundings. My blade back, leaning on the skin, not on the hairs. Put it in the sharpest position and clean the neckline. And with that, the contour. Now, first clean the, the hairs that fall off. How does it feel? Already cool? Yes, cool and collected. Almost ASMR. <laughs> I'm mostly working ultra fast because I, I love the adrenaline I get from doing hair. I think I have a hair fetish. That <laughs> <laughs> well, works out because I love the feeling of losing most of my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On purpose. Coming to the other side, lay the hairs aside. I do almost the same as on the right side. Give extra attention to the rollings around the facial lines. The hair falls in a wave into the hairs. Go to the back. Just lifting the ass up. Put my plate to the back again. And back again. Then set it on the skin. Not on the hairs again. Same I do to this rounding. This was the last tornado. Mooi, ik ga niet dat zeggen. Ja. Dat is echt geweldig. Ik was niet dat ik eentje daar had. Ah, die is echt geweldig. You know where I come from? There's a saying that uh, all the crowns or the tornadoes you have in your hair means that you have an extra love or something like that. Okay. So some people have two true loves and some yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have more than that in me. <laughs> I don't have hair. <laughs> but I love hair. But if I want to have some hair, I put a wig on. Yeah. I have wigs enough. In all colors. And I see wigs also as hair. Just your hair as, <laughs> as long as you bought the wig. Go back to the contour. Take an ultra fine comb. And a small clipper. And shape it in a wonderful rounding. Following the natural lines of a contour line. They are spectacular. Show you that in a second. Go to the other side. Get under it with my fine comb. And clean the contour line again. I'm going to show you the wonderful line she has in the, con in the contour line. Go nearby. Go 
was left at center. Now you see, here is like a tornado. It's curling around. It's wonderful because it flows like this and then goes down, up again. Then you have here the center, the eye of the tornado, but also an opposite line that goes into that. So her hair was standing up like that because it bumps together with that and that line. So there you have to be aware of. But it's wonderful when somebody has this line. So I leave it because I love this contrast into the lines. But I can make also my tattoo lines into that and start on the lines of that. Coming to the face of the long hair on top, I lay it from the right side to the left side just to see how it was cut the last time. And of course I lay it back to the other part. So I part over the center line and show you the line how it is now. And I'll show you what I'm going to make of it. This is how the cut is now. That are the lines. So now I'm going to play with these lines because I have to find myself a base on this line. I think this weight is much too much because it always falls back. I don't want to have a funky hairstyle with a lot of power in it. And she has not the thickest hair, but that doesn't mean she cannot have a funky hairstyle. Make use of the roundings of the skull. So I lay the hairs in the rounding, start on the lines, and now I'm going into the chin line and leaving a lot of length on the front. I always wet the hair before because it's much nicer for the person who has the hair cut that the hairs don't tickle on the skin when they're dry and more tickling and irritating the skin lines. In the same flow I go down. Make use of the parting lines I already made. Go into this line, knowing that on this line my line was a little bit more off center. So I go in a bit deeper on this side, so I get, get more dramatic effect on this side, and find myself the way to the off center line. And now you see that the center is here, and the off center line is. Free of that. Put this line into a straight line. Love to play. So now I have a stable line to work on. Adjust the line a bit. front go back to the line of cutting stabilize my blades so I don't have a wiggly sister especially not on the face lines so now already my cut is a lot stronger but now I still have to have a little bit more shape on the back so what I do now is lay the hairs to the side, watch it fall, and I'm going to make a turn in it. So I take the hairs up, put my fingers in, and just take a little bit of the weight off. Not too much, but just that small part that gives it surrounding. So it is much easier to style the hair. Everything you make as a hairdresser is always more in line with cut. I already see that there is a rounding, so you have a better fall to the hairs. Then I can always correct a bit. And then I go to the opposite line, lay the upper hair aside, lay the hair on it, take the hairs up. Bend them into the line. 
and give it the opposite rounding. This only have to do on the back. Of center, I make a slight graduation in the point cut technique. So the sharp line is off. Lay the hairs up. And now I just play with the line to connect it to the underline. Let's show you from the side so you can see it more better. So just shape the line into the line of cutting so you get a nicer fall into that. This is the only part where the hairs need to connect to the underlines. So I just play with the hairs. I can go to the upper hair. I'll leave it a race up. Don't leave me unsupervised. No, I don't do that. Okay, coming to the upper hair. Knowing I have some weight on the right side, so I have here my connecting line. Go on the center of the skull and just take away the hairs that need to take off because I can see also that they are hollow from coloring before. I can see through the ends of the hairs. So I cannot make there a real color. Now thank God she lost purple and blue. And the base color is green. That is a wonderful color to work on in that line. Because I can use a blue and I can use a purple. The sides will be, of course, in a natural colors because they are wonderful and easy to work with. Come to the other side, take up at an angle, take every time about two centimeters, like the hairs back so you can take them up. And I love to grab them with the fingers, so I mostly part with my fingers. My son is also a hairdresser who noticed that when he was uh, at school, that I did it different than the teacher. So he started to do it like I do, and he had always a better result with parting and taking up hairs. Because you, these fingers go so fast into the hairs, so you always grab the right proportion. And it's much easier to lift them up. And it's nice when you have two heads that work together. Now I am left handed and right handed so... Uh, as a student it was horrible because I had much problems with that. I'm also dyslectic. So it brings another problem. But I thank God I'm creative. So you always have opposite thing and what you have or don't have. Use the opportunities, use your things you have. So now I'm on my base cut. Now I can put in some tattoo lines and create something more of it. <laughs> now here is the part I don't want to touch because I love it very much. So I have to find me a way to stay away from that because that's also Halloween. So let's see. What we can do. And she loves Halloween. I do. Yeah. I do also. So my spider starts just the side of her lines. And the nice thing of tattoo lines with the clipper is that they grow back in a week, maximum two weeks. 
So it's never a problem in short hairstyles. You only have to do it. It's the only problem. Yeah. <laughs> Just go into it and make something of it. A spider would do the same. Build a spider web and after a week it has to build a new one. Yeah, and when it catches a fly it also has to yeah. do something on new. Now I only use the tip of my clipper to get ultra fine lines. So to her hair. Okay, I'm gonna show her what I made of her hair. Really excited. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I love it. Yeah, spider woman. That's <laughs> <laughs> cat weasel. Have you ever seen cat weasel? Cat what? Cat weasel. No. You have to find that. Cat weasel is a person that comes back from 1700 or something like that and he comes in this age and time and um, yeah, he, he finds out that lighting for example, you put, you put a button and then <laughs> and he has a big frog and all the things we find normal, he points out so it's wonderful to watch him, he's very cat weasel Cat Find that on YouTube. It's I very like funny to watch. Like weasels? Sure. No, it's not a weasel, but it looks a bit <laughs> like a weasel. Oh. We are ready uh, to color your hair. Let's go. So let you make a funky color. Lay the hair aside. Now the part I don't want to color, I just take a little bit of gel, normal gel, and that I put on the hairs. Because here I put the plastic foil on, so it will get the color into that. I have to lay some there are somewhere, so I love to do this on the plastic foil. So now you see all the darkness of her hairs. Then I made a line of it. Take my plastic foil and glue it on the hairs. So now I'm certain that I can lay on this the color of the upper hair. Put on my own protection, of course. I made sure a color of Lagme. It's a 522 plus, and there I put in some extra blue, so we get a blue purple color. She loves purple colors and dark colors and trendy colors. So now I can lay my color. On the line above the parting line. And to make sure I never reach the other lines with short hair, I put also a cardamom wick under it. So I take a small part of my cardamom wick, take one part off. It doesn't need to be much, just lay there where. The color can flow, it cannot even now anymore because I need the, the, the car to wake on that. Over that I can color. So now I put the color on her hair. And when I'm ready, I show you what to do then. Yeah. Now, now I put the color on, put a little bit of car to wake also on the contour line. So now I can close my plastic foil. And she's going for tea and I go for coffee. Then we'll wait for 25 minutes because we don't heat it up. Rinse it out and then I'm gonna start and show you the end result of this wonderful hairstyle. Halloween! <laughs> Mama, the 
death of touching my knees. That's not true. He doesn't dare. I don't want to get your cake in my head. Dit doen we om een inkomen, dat is gewoon mooi. Dan heb je ook weer gelijk asymmetrie. Ja, oh, nice. Leuk hè? Het zijn net zoals een tuurlijk dingetje. <laughs> ja, almost like an eyebrow piercing, but not really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Less painful. Yeah. Less commitment. Yeah. Not commitment piercings. <laughs> Hello, beauty. Hello. Uh, I'm going to show you a new tool of uh, Kiona, it's uh, a shaper, so when somebody has uh, a, a sensitive skin, you can use the shaper, but it's also nice to fade out lines, it's less painful of course, and for me in the morning when I forgot uh, or a part of shaping, it's very nice to use this because it's such a clean tool. And it has no um, irritation of the skin at all. Very easy to clean. So now I have a nice clean skin. This tool looks like this. Very easy to clean because you only have to click off the ends and then you clean the, you clean the tool, you just click up on the ends, here's the click and then clean. Let's style the hair. Let's style the hair. Now you love to have the mohawk. <laughs> she yes. loves to have the mohawk. Want to make a mohawk? I have to use uh, something more that, that makes your hair a little, a little bit tough and strong. So I use the salt spray. This one is of Kölne. Now I use a minimum uh, brush, paddle brush of Ergo. Je mooi de paars zijn. Oh, I love it. Ga ik nog een ander product laten zien? Oeh. Door die Angel. Dat is, uh, dat is wel echt een beetje stoer haar. We hebben wat fijn haar dan kan dat. Ja. Yeah. Ah, what a time to be alive. Now for sofa blow drying and now I'm going to find out some tricks because she wants a mohawk and she has what I already told you a bit thin hair so I have to have to make some solid hair so. To make this happen we have Dirty Angel. Dirty Angel! <laughs> Let's find out what Dirty Angel is. Somewhere around here but where? where? Take him to the hole. In the dungeon. That's a cruel dungeon. Attitude. Attitude is the brand and it's uh, delivered in the Netherlands, but then I think of all over the world by Rover Hair. It's a very cool product to work with. 
gives a lot of power to the <laughs> Makes us real, yeah, funky. And also very easy to come against. And it smells nice. Mm -hmm. So now I start on the center of a hair. And just a little bit coming against, not too much. But I don't have to use the pressure that I normally would do because otherwise uh, you would really put your feet together and then <laughs> but now because the dirty angel makes the hair rough you can very easy come against very nice on all the women also to get that uh, fine hair in line of the hairstyle you want to make and on boys hairstyles just play through the hairs Comment a little bit out. You can see it's a bit dusty. <laughs> but that suits to Halloween. A dusty effect. Using a fine brush on the outlines. Hairspray, go back to uh, Lagme again. They have a hard hairspray. And this sticks like glue, especially when you use a product like. Uh, this wonderful stuff, you grandma stuff. Grandma stuff. Grandma, there's somebody at your grave. They're taking Who is it? Hair dye. Yeah. It feels also gluey. But she has to come back to Arnhem. <laughs> and a lot of people know what Arnhem is because uh, it's from the war movie A Bridge Too Far. And 75 years ago, the 80s uh, had a battle there. You now you see that it's windproof. You like it to have it a bit to the front, so like this. Yeah, I'm loving this little curl. Yeah, I love it too because I find it a bit more uh -uh. <laughs> offline. You can always put it to the back, of course. <laughs> now, this is her new wonderful hairstyle. So, I'm cleaning the line up and then she shows you what she has as a hairstyle. But she needs also the, <laughs> the, the, the change <laughs> put around the neck. So please show this hairstyle to the world love. Thank you for watching. Thank her for being my model. Certainly you will see her back because she's wonderful to work with. Thank you. I love her a lot. I love you. This has been great. Do you graag niet naar boven zetten? Zou daar mee foto's maken? Zal ik ze ook show also the back to them? Totally different shape as we started with. Kaki enough? Halloween enough? Halloween huh? enough for me! <laughs> <laughs> I kill you for it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Hi, I'm Alex. I am. Oh, I am drawing a blank. <laughs> and I am ready to get my hair cut into something with more shape or form or. Whatever. General looking goodness. It's gonna be great.